good morning all now i am going to explain about some more questions on transformers okay 95th question short circuit test on single phase transformer give the following data okay sc test sc test always connected at reduced voltage rate that is 30 volts at 50 hertz comma 20 amperes at a power factor of 0.2 lagging okay if sc test is performed on 30 volts comma 25 hertz okay then short circuit current then short circuit current now see here from the given two data frequency will be reduces right okay when frequency is reduces already we know that b maximum is directly proportional to v by f okay when frequency is reduced maximum flux density in increases maximum flux density increases means to produce that means excitation current requirement will be high okay that means short circuit current also increases okay short circuit current also increases when short circuit current increases means its power factor is also increases that means from this 95th question answer will be increases and power factor is greater than 0.2 okay in sc test always power factor is more always increases next 96th question open circuit test on a single phase transformer give the following data okay 230 volts comma 50 h comma 2 amperes power factor is 0.2 lagging okay if open circuit test is performed on 230 volts comma 45 h then no load current then no load current okay then no load current again frequency is reduces right when frequency reduces again b maximum increases when b maximum increases means current increases okay current increases but power factor will be reduces that is less than 0.2 okay this power factor is depends upon load and unload now see here pre in previous question short circuit test short circuit test always connected and loaded condition okay under loaded condition power factor will be nearly approximately 0.8 that means power factor is greater than 0.2 here open circuit test always connected and no load that means secondary is open circuited under no load condition power factor is less than 0.2 that means here increases but power factor is less than 0.2 that means from the given options fourth option is correct next 97th question when short circuit test on a transformer is performed at 25 volts comma 50 h then run a current of i1 is at a lagging power factor 51 if the test is performed at 25 volts comma 25 h again frequency reduces right and the drawn current i2 okay previous case current is i1 right second case current i2 right that means if frequency is reduces b maximum is increases b maximum increases means current is also increases okay that means current i2 is increases okay now see here when current i2 increases means power factor reduces i will give the solution for this one just see the solution okay b maximum increases means i current increases when current increases means power factor reduce power factor angle increases but power factor will be reduces power factor is reduces now that means from the given options what is the answer see the options wait a minute 97th question i2 is increases i2 is greater than i1 and phi2 is less than phi1 which one phi2 is less than phi1 that is first option is correct 97th question next two transformers to be operated in parallel have their secondary no load emfs ea and transformer a and eb for transformer b as ea is somewhat more than eb okay ea value ea is greater than eb okay a circulating current ic is established at no load which tends to okay that means ea value is greater than eb right okay in parallel ea and eb should be equal okay to equate those two values ea and eb here e ea value is more than eb right that means we need to reduce ea value right that means we need to reduce ea value means buck means redu reduction buck ea we need to increase eb right and boost eb okay buck ea and boost eb which one 
from the uh, this option only directly i can eliminate that means 98 question buck ea and boost eb with circulating currents ig is equals to ea minus eb by impedance sum of those two impedances that means 98 question will be b is correct right next 99th question two transformers of identical voltages but of different capacities are operating in parallel for satisfactory load sharing for satisfactory load sharing per unit impedance and x pi r ratio of two transformers should be equal okay per unit impedance and x pi r x pi r ratio of two transformers must be equal okay next important condition is when two transformers are connected in parallel the polarities of two transformers should be same the voltage regulation of two transformers should be same the voltage ratio of two transformers should be same and x by r ratio of two transformers should be same remember this point next two transformers of different kva ratings working in parallel share the load is proportional to their rating when they are okay that is see here already we know that kva load sharing is inversely proportional to impedance now see here from the first option per unit leakage impedance of the same kva bases are equal that is not correct second option per unit leakage impedances based on their respective kva ratings are equal that means second option is correct next ohmic value of leakage impedance that means impedance is inversely proportional to kva rating already i told you kva is inversely proportional to their load sharing that means second and third is correct next fourth option ohmic value of magnetizing reactances are the same magnetizing reactances are not same okay that means fourth option is also not correct that means second and third option is correct that means b is correct next one at one question transformer operating in parallel will share common load in the best possible manner okay best possible manner now see here from the first option the leakage impedance are proportional to their respective kva inversely proportional right that means that is not correct the leakage impedances are equal that is also not correct per unit leakage impedances are equal this is correct next per unit leakage impedances are proportional to their respective kva that is also not correct right from the given options per unit leakage impedance of two transformers should be equal that means third option is correct next the necessity conditions for parallel operation of two single phase transformers is that these should be having okay this point already previous discussed right polarities of the two transformers should be same right voltage ratio of two transformers should be same x pi r ratio of two transformers should be same when voltage ratio same means voltage regulation also same that means kva rating that is not a mandatory thing two different kvas also no problem okay efficiencies may be different that means 1 3 5 6 is the correct that means one or two question will be 1 3 5 6 is nothing but option d is correct next for successful parallel operation of two single phase transformer the essential condition is that okay the essential condition is that first one percentage impedance should be equal okay that is not essential condition turns ratio should be exactly equal that is not essential condition polarities this is essential condition polarity should be equal otherwise circulating currents between these two transformer then damages damaging of those two transformers that means third option is correct next two transformers operating in parallel how have, have different quality of their leakage impedances for a load of 0.8 power factor okay option a both would operate at power factors less than 0.8 okay now see here what is given two transformers are operated in parallel having different quality of their leakage impedances when operate set two different leakage impedances means power factor is nothing but r by z that means impedance is different means power factors also different that means one pa two power factors are different that means one will be operate at greater than 0.8 one will be operated at less than 0.8 right from the given options fourth one is correct next next question two single phase transformers with equal turns ratio have impedance 0.5 plus j3 ohm 
and 0.6 plus J10 ohm with respect to the secondary if they operate in parallel how they will sh share a load of 100 kilowatts at 0.8 power factor logging okay this is somewhat lengthy problem right directly you can use the formula kva rating is inversely proportional to load sharing where impedance is low it will show it will share maximum amount of load now see here from the given two impedances which impedance is low n1 is to n2 right means n1 primary side impedance is low okay primary side impedance is low means it will share more amount of load that means first option is not correct okay first option is not correct second option may be possibility third option is also correct fourth option is also correct okay that means one, one is eliminated right from bcd we have to use formula kva is inversely proportional to impedances that means kva1 by kva2 is equals to z2 by z1 kva1 by kva2 you will get kva1 and kva2 relation if you substitute that value if you substitute in that equation you will get answer is approximately 105 right 105 third one is correct next 106 question a single phase transformer with kva rating k has voltage rating of v1 by v2 this transformer can be connected as an auto transformer to get two possible voltage ratings of v1 plus v2 by v2 okay and v1 plus v2 by v1 okay the respective kva ratings of an auto transformer should be okay v1 plus v2 by v2 that means you can get reverse the kva rating that is v1 plus v2 by v1 into k1 is another one is v1 plus v2 by v2 from the given question the answer will be reverse v1 plus v2 by v1 okay that means first option is correct next a 400 volts by 100 volts comma 10 kva 2 winding transformer is reconnected as an auto transformer across a suitable voltage the maximum rating of such transformer could be the maximum rating of such a transformer could be remember one point what is given here v1 by v2 rate e1 by e2 rating is given that is 400 by 100 okay this transformer is reconnected as auto transformer auto transformer is having only one turn right then total voltage will be 400 plus 100 500 volts is the total voltage okay from the given kva rating wait a minute i will share the solution what is given current is given right sorry kva rating is given right kva rating is nothing but kva v e1 in i1 that is equals to e2 i2 right secondary voltage will be 100 right from that equation i2 is equals to 10 into 10 to the power 3 by 100 you will get 100 amperes is the current okay when transformer is reconnected as auto transformer right then auto transformer total voltage will be v1 plus v2 that is 400 plus 100 500 then kva rating is nothing but e into i2 that is 500 into 100 you will get 500 kva is the answer that is 107 question answer is 50 kva that is first option is correct next an auto transformer having a transformation ratio of 0 0.8 supplies a load of 10 kilowatts the power transferred inductively from the primary to the secondary is okay the transformer the formula will be kva induction is equals to 1 minus k into given kva rating here k value is given as 0 0.8 that is 1 minus 0 0.8 into given kva rating is 10 kilowatts that means 1 minus 0 0.8 value will be 0 0.2 into 10 you will get 2 kilowatts okay suppose if he is asking kva conduction kva conduction formula will be k into kva that that value will be 8 kilowatts okay okay remaining we will see next class next class i can explain about induction machines okay this up to this point transformers topic is completed okay thank you all